Hey, welcome to my TradingView platform that I've been using for a grand total of like a week. I am just digging in. I'm in the free version of TradingView right now. So we may get ads pop up. Who knows what other fun will happen? But the important thing is I would like to answer a pressing question from one of our members about how to take the Fibonacci extension tool here and manipulate it to GAN data. All right, so we start by going to the panel of tools on the left and you go to a section here that says GAN and Fib tools. It may have one already populated and the one that we want is trend-based Fib extension, okay? So grab that and now for the sake of demonstrating the adjustment, I'm going to just hook this on to this low here, connect it to this high here and hook it to this low here. Now, I can't tell if that's a precise measurement, okay? All I can do is come in and look over the values and see if I'm exactly where I wanna be on the highs or lows. So I found this magnet mode and that's what gets the drawing tools to snap and attach to exact levels, see? So now magnet mode is activated and now I know I'm at the exact levels, okay? I'm learning along with you. Now, as you can see here, there's a bunch of Fibonacci numbers, 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click. That seems a natural next step. Let's check out settings. And under settings, let's go to style. This is where we have the numbers. So now I can change these to GAN numbers. So we can start from the beginning with 0.125, that would be 12%. So again, because here it's listed as decimals, we want to mimic that. So maybe I have to type 0 0.125. There we go. 0 0.125, 0 0.25. And I prefer that everything's visually just in order. So I'm going to uncheck all these guys and I'm going to just visually go in order. Okay. 0 0.375 and this is very exciting I know but this is how you get it done 0 0.625 I just have these numbers memorized these are GAN 8 levels 0 0.75 and 0 0.875 last but not least 1 that would be 100 okay now I could use one color. I think I might like that. I think it'll make it easier to see. So I'm just make everything purple and you see you're getting a preview as you do it, which is pretty cool. And now I hit okay. So now I have all the GAN levels and I can choose how this uh, looks even more. So let's come back to the settings. I can extend the lines right. That way I can see them as the market's moving higher. I can unclick the ones that have already been surpassed in the simple formation of this low. So. 12%, 25%, 37.5%, 50%, interestingly, is so close to this move, but let's just use the ones that are out in outer space, okay? So now that's how I would adjust the tool on trading view to have GAN numbers in it. And then we can see how the market unfolded and you can see it came very close to the 100% projection of this move and is doing what it's doing now. Obviously, this would not be something I would keep on the chart at this time. I would take it off, but before I do that, I'm gonna go back in, highlight the tool, right click, hit settings, and see if there's an option to save this as a default. In my free version, there currently uh, isn't, but it looks like I can do save as and name this. So I can just say uh, GAN levels purple. And there we have it. So I believe that if I ever come back and I want to bring this up, I just hit GAN levels purple. Okay, so the way to test this is to remove it. I know, scary. And now let's draw a Fibonacci in the other direction. Let's draw to the downside and see if we can pull up those GAN levels purple. So I'm going to just draw from this high to this low to this high, just something random. Okay, not saying I'm doing anything with this analysis. Go to the tool, the same trend-based Fibonacci extension, connect it to the high, low, high. Remember, make sure you're in magnet mode. It's already defaulting to the exact levels I had 
on that GAN uh, purple, which means I must have saved that as default, which is totally fine for my purposes, but I can go and make an adjustment. Let's say I want to go to settings and make adjustments where I'm pushing this uh, beyond the 100% because clearly we're falling, right? Now I'm going to go to the 100% to 200% projections. I'm going to do that by adjusting these levels in here. So this is going to be 1.125, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25. So you can see them changing as I go. Now I'm adding that next set of GAN numbers. 1.625, 1.7.5, and 1.875. And now instead of one, it'll be two. So now, if I want, I could save this as something. GAN levels uh, beyond 100, purple. And potentially have that as a template. And now if the market keeps falling, I could look at those projections. Obviously, I would rather look at past traded price levels, but this was just me figuring this out so that I can answer one of our members' questions. Hopefully that addresses your concern. If you have any follow-up questions about how to use this, let me know. Thanks.